Number one poisoning to dogs every year are human medications. And that might sound really surprising to people, especially if you've ever tried to give your dog a pill. You know probably how difficult it is to actually medicate your own animal. Uh, and I think the key here is that the dogs aren't seeking out medications and trying to eat them. Usually it's a young dog who finds the plastic pill bottle it, it, they think it's a chew toy. And so they start chewing on the hard plastic, it feels good to them. All of a sudden they break it open and there are these little things inside that they just swallow whole. The other thing that I'm really convinced having uh, treated so many animals that have been, um, have been exposed to human medications is that I think that if your dog sees you putting something in your own mouth and then if you accidentally drop it, they're gonna eat it right off the, the floor. They'll eat it off the ground because they saw it going into your mouth. And so it's not that same perception of trying to pill your dog or trying to force a medication down its throat. Just one high blood pressure medication, one medication designed for diabetes control is enough to kill a dog, and a good sized dog, uh, depending on the type of medication it is. So we need to be extremely careful with medications in the household, and we need to be really vigilant about making sure that our medications are safe and secure. I. I, I talk to people that if they have a dog in the household, they have to treat it just as they would a toddler. And people are very conscious and aware if they have a two-year-old in the house, knowing that everything's gonna go in that kid's mouth, we kind of have to be the same way around our dogs, unfortunately. They, they, will, they explore their environments with their mouths and with their noses, and they're not shy about eating anything that falls on the floor, particularly if they think it was something destined for our own mouths. So we have to be really careful about that.